What is up my sugar cookies? It is me Candy Girl 1, 2, 3. Welcome back to my breast reduction surgery. This is part 4. This is everything after the surgery. I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe to be part of my sugar cookies. Because who doesn't love sugar cookies? Crazy people do. Stay sweet my sugar cookies. Peace out. Hey guys, so we're heading home. Huh? We're heading home. What do you think? I'm excited. I'm in a lot of pain, but I get to go home. Laying down is kind of uncomfortable. I have portions stuck inside of me, so everything hurts. Head west, then turn left. But should be home in. Well, it's an hour and five minutes. I would be surprised if that's what it was. Just take it easy on the bumps, please. Please don't. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto North Wheeling Street. Hey, Rick Lewis. So, I am tired, ready for home, miss Buddy, Buddy's probably freaking out. Head south, then turn right, head so. south toward East Colfax Avenue, then turn right onto East I know Colfax I definitely Avenue. ate too much, I got greedy, because I got free food there. So, I definitely ate too much. I know. Doubt it. They were considering taking me back to get a surgery to clean out my breasts. So, I was a little scared about that. But, thank God that didn't have to happen. But that surgery would have been nothing. It would have been nothing, but I still would have wanted it. Um, still haven't watched Why Destiny episode 15, uh, probably gonna watch that at home, probably gonna sleep through the car ride home, definitely tired, boobs hurt, mom's spaghetti, huh? nothing, it's a joke, um, Had a good time. Feet, Boobies are small. They are so small. I don't know if we mentioned this, but they had took out two pounds in my right, two and a half pounds in my right boob, and then a pound three quarters in my left. So they were very disproportionalized. So it's quite interesting. Um, Definitely gonna go home and sleep. Try and sleep in the car, but I doubt it because the bumpy road hurts already. Um, have a pillow protecting me from the seatbelt. Um, we have an appointment Monday to go see. It's a post stop, right? Yes. In 600 feet, turn right or actually Street. And a nurse because your dog's on vacation. Uh, Turn right onto so, Street. I'm, I'm in pain, but I'll manage. Um, I'll see you guys when we're at home. Hello, guys. So, I've forgotten a little bit about recording. Um, today is the 9th. And I've been home for two days-ish. Um, there's a little bit of pain, but not much. Um, I've had a bunch of people come visit me. And I've been pretty lazy. I do feel bad about that. I normally don't like being lazy. But, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to heal. I've taken a lot of naps. Um, yeah, 
These are looking so good. So tiny. It's unbelievable. They used to hang down to here. So, it's crazy. Um, I have a post-op on Monday to hopefully get these drains out of me. Um, I think that's what hurts the most. That and gravity. Like, gravity hates me right now. <sighs> I have been sleeping, like, all day, so... It's I know I should sleep tonight, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. And I'm gonna try and get done Dance with the Devils, but I did something part three thumbnail out there so I can get that video going. And I can start on another one. Probably will be another Why Destiny or Hitalia or Portal. I have a lot of stuff I have to get going on that. But I'm going to be pretty much a lazy fish for a little bit. But I'm okay with it. It's very itchy at the moment. And they said that would happen and that's a good sign of healing. So I'm very itchy. Like so, so itchy. Like I want to itch, but like I don't want to poke anything. So... Yeah. So I guess I'll see you guys in Monday if nothing big happens in between now and then. See you soon. Okay, guys. <laughs> I just need to talk for a second. Uh, so today is the 10th and holy crap. I finally got the courage and the strength to watch White Destiny episode 15. I say strength because I have been sleeping a lot and they said that would be normal. Holy Ah, <laughs> They said that would be normal and I've been sleeping a lot so I haven't been able to watch a lot of shows and remember them because, you know, sleep. And oh my god, I'm a mess. <laughs> And they freaking had, like, everybody else say, like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, I appreciate you, you're amazing. And then out of left field, they're like, thank you, dear. And they all say, thank you, dear. And he's like, thank you, guys. And he's, ah! it pisses me off. And it's over. Uh, I hope they do, like, another season to, like, see where the boys are in the future. Like, I want to see them get married because I love all of them. Especially, I love my ghost boy. Uh, pal, oh my god, that took a lot of energy and my breasts are hurting. Ugh, because I've been like crying like a baby. <laughs> like I've been crying like a baby right there. Candy mom's not here, she's dashing, trying to make money. So we can go up to Aurora this weekend, uh, Monday actually, to get these, hopefully, these tubes out. Ugh. But I had to just, uh because that episode came out the day of my surgery. And it was difficult because I normally watch it live on Asian plays. And I couldn't. I was in surgery. And even once I was out, I was like knocked out with drugs and everything. Like I couldn't keep myself awake to save the life of me. And honestly... It was a little, it was a little much on my body, so I don't think I can handle this emotion. Like, I, I, right now, I still can't handle this emotional mess that I am. But, like, congratulations to the whole cast. You guys did it. I'm, I love you guys, and I hope to God you guys come back as the characters again. Um, what really kind of pissed me off is that they brought Tyr back a lot. Like, he was there a lot. And I'm like, he's dead. We get it. You should just not have him there. I mean, it's hard for Masuk. Ma Masuk? Masuk? Meh. But it's hard for him. I get it. But, like, you don't need to show him every freaking clip. And he was, like, always in the background. Like, hey, guys, I'm here. Ugh. Even when... Oh, I don't remember his name. Like, he was going around introducing all the couples. 
And when they went to Masuk, he, he was literally... So him and that other guy were sitting there, and he was playing his guitar, and literally Tyr was right there in the other seat. And I'm like, bruh, that's too much. Like, that's a low move. It's a low move. Um, as you can see, I'm feeling better. Um, I am out of breath because I've been screaming. Not screaming, but like cry screaming, if you all know what I mean. So, I'm giving the dogs water right now very badly because it hurts to bend down but I just had to rant about that because that was something I really wanted to watch my day of surgery and going into my surgery driving up I was watching my ghost boy Powell he's my favorite he I'm biased I, I love that couple more than anything and that couple really got my emotions going with, that was like the first like really sad like story in my opinion. Uh, oh, I'm out of But it was a lot and I'm upset. I'm pissed. They, of course they did me like that and it's over now. But like I said, I would love to have a second season to see where the boys are at. Um, I know like one of them got like, one of the couples got cats. And they're like, oh, daddy, poppy. And I'm like, I want to see them actually have kids. I want to see them get adopted, like adopt a kid. Like I want to see them farther down the line and like sat and took. Uh, that was awkward. Like it was a low move what sat did. But you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um. So I just need to calm down for a bit. That was a lot on my body. <laughs> I'm just so thankful Candy Mom's not here to see me be an emotional mess. But then once I'm done, I'm going to try and continue editing the thumbnail for um, Dance with the Devils, part three. But I have a lot of good crack material, Lizzie! She put her ball right there. I'm sorry, that hurt. Oh, and the dogs have been pretty okay with me. Every now and then, Izzy will come try and lay down on my chest, which she's done before in the past, and that hurts. But he tries to come check on me. He's mad that I'm hurt, so it's okay. So I need to catch my breath. Um, but I'll see you guys probably Monday. See you soon. So hey guys, so we are back at Children's Hospital. This is uh, one of the many post stops I'm gonna have. Hopefully to get the drains out of me. Oh, and today I'm wearing actual normal people clothes according to what my mom says. They're not pajamas. They're not pajamas. They're not pajamas. Um, mainly what's hurting is the drains. So I'm super, super excited to get them out. Um, I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I know that there's not supposed to be filming in the building, so we'll get audio as much as I can, but I think we're gonna eat first, or something, I don't know. Man, I'm like out of breath. This is worse than my normal stuff, but we'll see you guys when something interesting happens. Oh, you're so happy. I'm very happy. And she's been really good pain-wise. I mean, like, they sent her home with 10 oxys. And she's, and she's got five left. Okay. Okay. They'll come back. I won't need a Tylenol ibuprofen. Have you had a drink before? No. No. Okay. It just kind of, it feels weird. It does really hurt. Um, That's what my mom told me. I told her it kind of felt, when they took mine out, it kind of felt like, they were pulling out a tampon. Yeah, but I've never had. But she's never worn a tampon. So that's. I was like, yeah, exactly. So I don't know. But yeah, not knowing. Will this make it a little bit more comfortable to yes. sleep on my side? Because I've been, my body's been dying to turn on my side. <laughs> so.
So I'll lift this up a little bit. So I'm the glue hoping. that she uses, so we're not going to put on any sort of like um, Vaseline is typically what we use after surgery mm -hmm. until this all of this like, it's basically like a dressing that's on there. It's a mesh dressing. Uh -huh. As soon as that's all peeled up, then we'll start Vaseline. And then four weeks from surgery, we'll start you on silicone products. Yep. We'll get these scars as minimally appearing as possible. Cool. But until then, soap and water. No submerging in water. No baths. Baths, hot tubs, swimming pools. No yikes. Any of that jazz. She's been wanting to take a bath for a week. Oh, I'm sorry. You like baths. I do. So that was probably the weirdest thing is that's a stitch that got taken out. Do you want me to just do it? Do you want to count? Just do it. Don't even tell me. Do you want to turn your music on or something? Feels no, good. I'm good. Okay. A little straw suctioning. And one side is done. How was it? It was weird. <laughs> On the next one you pull out, can you show show me? I don't know if she wants to see. Yeah. How much of that was inside? Sure. Yeah, I guess I can see. I'll see it. Yeah. Yeah. So I have four different dress or four additional dressings on there. So when you shower, are you doing every other day? Every day. I'm okay, trying to shower. do every day, just trying to feel normal yeah. again. Um, I have to use my mom's shower chair. Okay. So if you start to notice areas that look like kind of like a water bag, water bag underneath there, you're filling up with some fluid. Okay. Means you're doing too much. Got it. Okay. So if you've noticed you haven't had the output now, but all of a sudden you're like, what is this on the side? It looks like a little water bag. Like so blister. still don't do much. Yes. But this, this compression bra that you're wearing yes. will help prevent that. Got it. Okay. And the skin yeah, I don't is want to take it out. really irritated. Is it? Because it's in a lot of pain. I'm sorry. I did my mom. You okay? No, I'm fine. I just don't want to watch you take it out. Oh, yeah. Dude, just watch how much is in there. I just want to see how far into her yeah. it was. Okay, I'm going to cover mom so she doesn't have to see either. Okay. I feel like you can hear it. <laughs> Means the suction was good. Okay, so from my finger. Wow. To the end. So like, what was it up underneath and to the top, or like, so it was all around. So basically, all of this tissue. That's a lot. Was taken How much out. Is that? So it's like um, a few inches. Yeah, it's about a, almost like a foot. foot. Almost yeah. a foot. Yikes. But if you had any fluid, it, it would have taken that. Right. So this should heal in about 48 hours. Sweet. And that redness should go away. You should be a little bit more comfortable. And you said she looked irritated? Just around it. Like she was, the skin's a little mad that that was there. But that'll go away. I was mad that it's there. <laughs> it was painful. Better have that than have to go back in and have them clean it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm glad that bruise is gone because sometimes you, what's, so the seroma is the fluid filled mm -hmm. area in the skin. And then you can also get a hematoma, which is blood filled. And that's what you guys have a picture of that? You don't. Oh. If you, if you Google, that's just, just Google. Google. Oh, I think you should have to see the picture, picture of the bruise. bruise. Yeah. Can you get a picture of that one? Because I, I kind of want to have It's that. in your chart, too. So Is it in my chart? Yeah, that oh, then we can save it there. Because I haven't seen it. I didn't look for pictures. You should be able to see it. If you don't, then I can always trip them off when you guys come back. Hello. Hi. 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 I was going to take a photo, but I wanted to just take it off one time. Yeah, that's Dan really brought me a... Fantastic. Oh, good. How are you feeling? A little bit of pain, a little bit. Okay. Mainly from the drains, I think. Okay. So now with those, but those are hopefully, not good. Okay. Hopefully right. that will be better. How's energy and everything like that? Pretty good. Good. 
There's some times where, like, gravity hates me. Yeah. I'm like, nope. They're yep. bruising. That's about right. Oh, so, wow. That does she look She doesn't have bad. any at all. Oh, you are amazing. <laughs> she yeah. looks great. That so, looks sorry if you're... Like bad. We, um... So the, the whole thing, and I know you, I, I talked to Dr. French after she poked her head in. I hope nothing alarmed you. I just talked to Dr. Ree um, in the morning. It was unclear to me exactly what we were thinking in terms of is there blood that needs to be washed out. Right. So I asked Dr. French, just one of my partners, to, to just run up and take a look since I couldn't myself. So that was what that was. It wasn't that we were sitting around. I think the, the biggest issue was yes. sitting all day waiting to, to go home and then she couldn't eat. Sure. And then they lost the prescription for the pain oh, meds. Oh, oh no! Like it took an hour to find it. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right. So the, the reason yeah. for the sitting around is we Last wanted two time, time points to check if we had to wash it out. If she'd eaten, we would have had to keep you right. probably to the next day. So I'm sorry about that. No, Look, she's that fine. Oh, Isn't that crazy? Bruising, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you healed very quickly from that. That's great. I'm gonna take a photo real quick. Well, I am sorry it was such a pain in the bottom that day. Oh, quickly. you know it's better safe than sorry. Yeah. We live so, you know, it's an so hour drive, so went home and got Gotta back. go down. Okay. So I'm yeah. used to it being like, yeah. got some good swelling for about three months. Yeah. Oh, great. Three um, perfect. When we get to the month part, a lot of that will be gone, but it will continue to go away between month one and month three. Okay. So this is not, you will be um, appreciably smaller than this. When everything really? is said and done, yeah. Really? Like, yeah, I'm half that small. Size, she's, she seriously sits there and stares at herself in the mirror. It's so unbelievable. They're not touching her belly button Good. anymore. Do you feel better? It does. I can already feel like less tension in my back. Good. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. And kind of the fullness feeling that you have, I have Amy. Um, <laughs> that will go away, and I think you'll just you'll feel a little bit better. So they, I mean, they're not going to be super super soft but they're going to be a lot softer than they are right now i figured as much yeah figured it was from the swell this is all that swelling i told you you're going to feel yeah super I figured. yeah good so how long should she wear the surgical bras versus the zip up um so at least another two weeks and here's my thing with zip ups um i i think they're great and when you transition you can butt it however you need um i want to make sure that with a zip up we don't have a band yeah, that's putting any pressure on those incisions and because you're feeling do you have um do you have any numbness anymore right now i don't think so okay um are you, are you feeling your nipples the, and i can't feel those okay yet. and you said that would happen yeah and so we'll see um what you get back if i had to put money on something it would be that you get something back but we just won't know for several months um, my problem with these zip ups is, especially with the prineo, that tape stuff that you have in place, um, and even though you, you have feeling it's probably still not 100% normal, mm -hmm. you may not recognize if something is rubbing on those incisions. And so once some of that tape is off, um, and we know that the skin is healed underneath, I'm a little more comfortable with a zip up bra. Um, if, when we, or when we do get you into those, I want like, band-aids and padding between your breast and the bra right. at least for the first few weeks so that we can just tell and then it's going to be checking your checking your incision sites several times a day to make sure there's no redness no rubbing anything like that um i don't know what about a regular bra that snaps in the back or snaps up like this so um underwire we're like two months out from i don't even wear so, underwire i hate okay. it okay so part that makes my that makes me feel better I hate um, it's it's going to be the same with really any bras. Okay. Um, I mean, maybe we could try in about two weeks. I just want to know that um, we don't have a wound at any of those little T-junctions before we start sure. changing the bra. And most of them that you guys would find would probably be fine, but I know this is safe. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, and I, like I was telling her, I bought one off of e or Craigslist. Amazon. Amazon, right this, there. A large, mm -hmm. just like I was told doesn't fit her. Yeah. It doesn't go around. Okay. And what I will tell you is that, um, hold on to it. I wouldn't get rid of it just yet. When some of the swelling goes down, is it like super far away from hitting or kind of getting kind of close? Um, and that's the other thing. It's too tight. It's and too tight. It can go around her. So but hold on to it. Tight. It's too tight. Hold on. It, um, yeah. If you can without getting deemed, if you're going to try to return it, if you mm -hmm. can hold on to it for two more weeks, I would. As the swelling goes down, we'll know kind of where you're going to settle out. And that's the other thing. It would be really 
painful to buy a bra and then three days later you need to keep buying new ones and new ones because this one yeah. uh, enough of this one is going to go down within the next three ish or so weeks that will have a better idea of what you should start buying well and it was a twenty dollar bra it so doesn't need good. to go anywhere all right well it, and it may it may end up working when some of this one goes down because you you are definitely still puffy i'm definitely yep yep mm -hmm. Like She's we went to go visit my cousin, and she couldn't stop like looking. I love it. Wait, wait, wait! Though. Well, it's the yeah. cousin that's on life, life support. support. Mm. They're starting to take the sedation off, okay. so she's very conscious. Okay. So she like kept room. looking. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Just, like that's funny. And every once in a while, she'd like lift her hand oh. and to oh. try and like <laughs> to touch her. And but like everybody's jealous. Good. I know. Good, good, good. I'm so so happy. It, it, oh, it's good. funny though. We've gotten a lot of people judging. You let your 17 year old have a breast reduction? Uh, did you just don't look care. at her? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's um, baggy shirts hide a lot. Yeah. yeah. But like this shirt, it's like a little bit too big for me. Now. So we're gonna have to go all new clothes shopping. Just wait until this one's done. Yes. 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 I know. Yeah, at least three months total. Yeah. That's oh, it's gonna be amazing. Because she's itching. Her and her friends want my card. I'm sure. Yes. Are you go shopping? <laughs> my friends are like, let's go shopping. Let's buy you like itty bitty bikinis. And I'm soon, like, yes. Soon. <laughs> Not yet. Give it a couple months because you just don't even have to keep buying. I know. <laughs> I can't wait to fit into those tiny little bikinis mm. or like tiny crop tops. Yeah. Like I had a crop top with my big, and it's like super big. Like it's okay. It's so different. Oh, well, I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm, I'm glad you're happy. I am. Okay. I still can't believe you took two, like two pounds out. I, I, I can't I believe that. I was surprised also. Um, and I mean, I wasn't trying to go to make you tiny or anything. Like no. That, it was what your skin would let us do. And I, I was surprised at the amount of the weight also. You I couldn't, like, I couldn't tell. And then while yeah. looking at pictures, it's, okay. yep. it's a big difference. obvious. <laughs> You look great. Well, I'm sorry you didn't get your vacation this week. Oh, I'm leaving tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, this is great. She's like, she's here? No, is, it's, it, um, there was some miscommunication. I'm happy actually being able to tie stuff out today, and I'm happy I get to see you. So this is great. Yes. Um, but yeah. No, I'm leaving tomorrow. We'll see you next week in Broomfield. Yep. Perfect. No more cards. All right. Let's go get a free Slurpee to celebrate. Yay. <laughs> okay. Have a great week. Thank you. Enjoy your vacation. I don't have port. I don't drinks. Okay, hey guys. So it is the 13th. My post op was yesterday. So they said everything is looking good. Um, and. I still don't have very much movement. I can move my arms straight forward, but up and down is hard. Um, there's a lot of pain. Um, for females, um, if you've ever worn like really bad underwire, that's kind of how it feels, but it also just kind of goes up. So it's not just here, it's all the way. So that's a good way to explain it. Um, I finally, and this I'm saying finally, I have sensation in my left nipple, um, which is crazy because they said I probably wouldn't get sensation back. They said that would be the most probable thing to go wrong with the surgery. Not like to go wrong, but that's like the thing I would most likely lose is sensation in both of my nipples. Um, they said if I did get it, it would take months for it to come back. So it's quite amazing that I'm that today it's a week it's a week today that I've had my surgery and I have feeling in this I have no feeling in my right which is kind of funny but um yeah I'm super happy and super excited so see you guys soon